Okay, everybody, we are back with some more Napoleon Total War and the Iberian Campaign. Now, I'm actually really happen, happy that we actually managed to load in. Uh, this is being recorded on April the 26th and on April the 25th, uh, Creative Assembly, the maker of the game, actually released a patch for it. Um, quite a controversial patch. It's supposed to fix the bug where Intel 12 core CPUs can't run the game. I don't know if it's fixed now because I don't have an Intel 12 core um, 12 gen CPU. But it's supposed to fix that. However, CA also took the opportunity um, to remove the chat function in Napoleon Total War. Now, that basically affects uh, multiplayer people. Um, and I don't play multiplayer, so uh, that shouldn't affect me on this. Um, but they also mentioned that they had done something to allow the game to run on newer um, hardware or architecture as they put it so they apart from that they didn't mention what they had done now they've also released the same patch for Empire Total War and I actually have a Spanish Empire campaign ongoing in that in the DARF mod so I don't know if it's broken that mod I'll be testing that out right after we get through with this one this episode Hopefully not. Um, let's see if we can actually get through an end turn. We've used all of our money. We're going to try and retake this settlement. And we already have Madrid under siege. We have extra troops. We've got extra troops coming over here. Um, we've got troops coming from there. The Portuguese who are running around. We're even managing to build up our forces up here. Now we got very close to causing a, um, a rebellion here in the last episode and then they moved some troops in which now recruiting from up there but we are also or we would be recruiting from up here um, I'm gonna wipe the French out we've already lost the campaign um, we lost we didn't do it by December 1815 but I'm gonna wipe out the French because we should ah actually going to sally out 9 AD plus 320 that makes it roughly 1300 give or take exactly nobody uh, they've still got a lot of troops um, now as far as I know they can only recruit militia there and it looks like the buildings are damaged so they shouldn't be able to get anyone new but that would give them a chance to replenish uh, those ones those would probably be at full strength uh, do we fight it? We've got three cavalry. We'll be waiting for those to come in from the opposite side, maybe. Uh, I don't know if I was... Well, we do have other troops coming. Let's not fight that one. Right. Yeah, they've left it open. I mean, that's not really any point in fighting that, is there? Surprised we got that many kills. Oh, they did go back in. Last. Well, we'll put them under siege again. But we can also bring up uh, this force, which is obviously more than what we did have. Right. Go and join up with them. We actually got an agent in there, don't we? They've recruited a general, Germain, Valentin Germain. All right. Oh, he could actually um, sabotage the army, couldn't he? And he's got a thirty-eight percent chance there. Harass the army successful I mean they've lost what four men or maybe they lost those during the battle doesn't look like it caused much damage um, they they are fixing up the buildings but they can't repair them at the moment do I get anyone from there 
we've got three units of the La Mancha, which is there, and then an extra unit to there. Right, what we need to do, get rid of those. Should be able to do that. They are on the bridge though. Might as well go and have a small battle. Now this is actually the first Napoleon Total War Empire, um, Napoleon Total War video that I'm doing with my new microphone. Uh, still got the neighbor's dogs barking in the background, so you can probably hear that. Now I don't know if this is going to sound better than the previous ones. It should. It most definitely should. Right, there should be a Ford back here somewhere. There normally is. Right there. So I'm going to send the infantry over here. Now that could be a mistake. Get those going in column. And get you. Hopefully. To come over here like so. Form up where I want you to. Might as well have a look at them. Because they do look rather smart, don't they? Napoleon Total War was always well optimized for me right from the day it released. So I'm wondering what they've actually done as far as making it work better on a newer architecture, as they say. It'd be nice if they fixed that annoying sound bug that the game has. Looks like they're prepared for the, the units crossing over here. That's their Carassier. We've seen our cavalry lose two to one. Well, they do have the uh, barricades. It's a good thing we're going to send the cavalry behind them. Even two of our cavalry units against something like um, the Chasseurs of Cheval normally lose. And against their Carassiers, we don't have much that could face them. We can actually get our own Carassier units, believe it or not. They do look smart, don't they? Almost a shame to kill them. Right. Do we can get that cavalry to actually form up behind them? Might as well just speed everything up. Ah, they are redeploying. Yeah, when I saw the update last night, I thought, oh no, that's possibly going to break a vanilla game saves. But it doesn't appear to have done that. But it's almost certainly going to mess up mods. And I'm quite far in with my Empire Total War Darth Mod campaign as the Spanish Empire. I would not like to have to refight all of that, but um, I've done it for campaigns before. And if the mod is broken um, and can be fixed somehow, I will do it. But I'll test that out right after this. Now, go where I tell you to go, not where you want to go. Uh, go to normal speed and then form up. Yeah, they've done something smart there. To get to them, we'd actually have to come through there, wouldn't we? Right, pretty much all in position. Almost there, almost. Ah, they're reacting. Just a little bit more. Oh, there it is. Somebody's firing.
who are we killing? Not many of them. Cressier. That's it. Come within range. Well, they are taking casualties, just not that many. All right. Come on down there. We're almost winning the uh, infantry fight, aren't we? Those are still getting shot by that unit. Good charge. They did recover pretty well. Yep, yep, good charge again. Everybody concentrate on that unit. Ah, blast. Right, get away from there. Oh, they went into square just in time for us to shoot them up. Are they going to try and get away? They look like they're going to try and get away. We should be able to catch them, shouldn't we? If not, we'll come back and kill off those ones. No, they're going to get across. They're right on the border there. Alright. You go after them, continue, stop firing, speed it all up. Sir, sir, our general is under attack. He shouldn't be. Wonder who lives in there. Oh, it's a warehouse. Probably a bunch of rats live in there then. Are they still chasing people? Yeah, a couple of them. That's got to be it. Close victory. No, not really. Oh, they still managed to survive, did they? There you go. Bye bye. Right. Meaning, we can send you up here as well. Now, they didn't try to get out of Madrid, which can only hold for three turns. Right. And we did get the extra units from here. Right, we've got 22.50 left over. It doesn't look like they're going to well, come over here at the moment, but we could. We've got four, six units. Can we do any damage over here? No. Um, how close is it? Right. 9.8%. Oh, Three or four more turns, and maybe they'll have a revolt. Uh, revolt. How revolting! How revolting! All right. There is, of course, that rebel settlement that we should try to take.
I don't think I had any agents I was supposed to move out. Right, we're going to get another big battle. 25. All right. Uh, 3,000. We should be able to win this one. Uh, Dessalines. Yes, he's been running around the blasted map for a very long time, hasn't he? A very long time. All right. I think they're going to have to go aggressive here. With their cavalry. Luckily, they've only got one battery. Right. Ooh, they can put down the landmines. Yay! Right. Yeah, you can put down those blast of landmines. Right, cavalry. Even if we put them down here, they're going to know where they are. That blasted cheating AI. Right. I don't like the uh, trenches or barricades. They just never seem to provide any protection. Oh, I know they've only got the two cav plus their general. And we probably don't need all of these, but I'm going to put them down nevertheless, or nonetheless. Uh, go where I tell you to go. I swear it's my mouse that's messing up. <laughs> they will not go where I tell them. There. That should be the last one. Put those down. Right. Right. Speed that up. Right. There's their general. They are keeping one unit back. Those lances are already taken. Fire. Get back. Where's the landmines? There. This one's about to blow up. 152. Go on. Boom. Didn't kill that many. I told you to get back. Ah, idiot. Right. That was there, General. Good. Right. Did we kill off the uh, Ulans? No, nope. they're still out there. Those ones might rally. Our men are running, sir. No, we literally killed fourteen of them. With an entire unit of uh, hussars. The dragoons are classed as heavy uh, cav, though. Right, you did rally.
going to lose that cavalry. That's actually my general, isn't it? There he goes. <laughs> That's very common for me. Alright. Well, there's their general's bodyguard who's actually already destroyed. Right, that cavalry is moving forward. I'll put you into square formation. Oh, those Vistula Ulans are still holding out. There's not really anyone coming over here, apart from the uh, guerrilla unit. Look at the morale on these units all over here. Absolutely terrible already. Yep, they did come right over there. They should be destroyed soon enough. Come on, kill those off. How many dragoons left? 14. It's unlikely that they'll come back to the fight. It sure is. Did we kill those ones? Yeah. Look at them run. Now oh, we're sitting. Oh, here comes our reinforcements. But we had cavalry coming in. Ooh, um, I was going to have them run right through my stakes there. Or barricades. At least the armed citizen rallied. They have nowhere to go. No, we didn't put down our stakes very well, did we? We got five there and about seven over there. Oh, they also rallied. Right, that cavalry will actually be of some use, won't it? Are they going to rally? There's only nine of them. They're broken, but they're not shattered. I think they've got hung up on the building, haven't they? Yeah. <laughs> that does sometimes happen. Uh, bad GPS there. Right. Maybe better for them to go after them. Did they get through the buildings there? I don't see anyone else running around out here. It's the young guard. It's 
Somebody's still firing over here. Get in there. Right, that's Madrid reclaimed, or it should be. And we've got the other settlement under siege, and as far as we know, there are no other French forces moving around on the map. Or well, there shouldn't be. The men are fatigued, sir, and must rest ah, they'll be all right. The men are fatigued, sir, and must rest a while. Calm down. That's got to be all of them. Seriously? No, three, two, one. There it is. No, no, we did well. Technically, there's 47 of them. Oh, come on. Uh, 2100. Right, it will be necessary to fight that battle. Um, but that's going to have to come at the start of the next episode because we're all out of time. Remember, 320 of those are chaff units. So, about 2300. Uh, no, about. 2,040. Hmm, yep. Hey, we've got lots of infantry. How's our morale on these units? Eight. Eight on all of them. Eleven. Eight. So we go in morale apart from those two. There's going to be a big infantry fight. Right, we'll see you in the next episode then.